Even I'm getting tired now. I guess I need a wake up mushroom or something to perk me up. Alright, so I'm Blue, you're the audience, and this is Minish Cat Blind. I'm sorry about the abrupt uh, stop to the last episode. What happened was I accidentally reset the uh, game again. Yeah. Wait, do, do I? Of course my dog's sparking. Just a second, I'm gonna go take care of that. Dum 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 Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, as you heard, the dog was barking, I need to go outside and get her. So, destroy those pots to grab the key again, which I think I did in the last episode anyway, so I'm not sure why I'm showing this. <laughs> I... God, I freaking hate resetting the emulator. Thing is, it's not even the emulator that does it, it's the actual game, meaning that if you hit, uh... I think it's A, B, and select, it resets your cartridge. Which, that's really freaking annoying. Alright. Oh, our one and only spare key! I don't know how you got this, but I can't thank you enough. Tell me your name, Sonny. Link? That's a great name. If you ever need to go to Lake Highway, feel free to cut through our house. Thank you very much, Link. Come visit us again. That was weird that it gave you a little jingle, but okay. Stupid pots. I can destroy you with my sword. Alright, so I don't think we have his kinstone piece, but might as well check, right? I don't remember what we used it for, but I think we used it recently. Not really sure. Oh, wait, is that a kinstone piece I need? Ah, uh, no, it's not. Darn. I got hopeful. Um, oh yeah, down here. This one confuses me. Big wallet. Does that mean I can carry more than 500 rupees now? Because I thought I already had a big wallet or a giant's wallet or something. So, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I played through this small area already. Like, this short area. But it's fine, really. Dude, I didn't really do anything. <laughs> All I know is that the freaking Tingle's brother's over there. Oh, yeah. There's something to grab over here. Which is not really worth my time having to pass by. Yeah. And if you think about it to get that, you're sadly mistaken. Drop down here. Yep, Kinstone Beast. Not worth having to pass by Tingle's brother. God, I hate those guys. I know, hate's a strong word and all, but. <sighs> they just creep me out. I don't know. I guess that's kind of a rude thing to say, but... I'm being honest. That's the, more, the most important thing. Jump right over here. Just gotta keep flying across. There we go! And like this, we can go get the stuff for the Pegasus boots. And I destroyed the sign I wanted to read. Push that over. By the way, I haven't been over here. I never got across the floating things. So let's test what's over here. Uh... Oh. Sweet. Uh... A Goron? Uh-huh. That was entirely pointless. Oh, maybe not. I just got an idea. Flip me grass, flip me grass, flip me. Ah. That didn't work. <laughs> How about this? Just 
gotta get my stuff up here. Really? Fine, whatever, I don't care. I'll figure out how to do that stuff later. Doesn't matter that much. This way to Mayor Hagen's lakeside cabin. Wait. The mayor has a cabin over here? What does he actually do in that freaking town? They have a king. <gasps> oh. Yes. Maybe I'm supposed to use this? We're in the most aggressive enemies I've ever- <gasps> I think I just got 100 rupees from that. That was amazing. I wish there was a normal enemy that you could just fight right there, forever. <gasps> yes. Piece of heart. Um, I only have one piece. That means I need three more. And in a minute, I'll be able to get Pegasus Boots, which means I'll be able to get one other one I know of. Mayor Hagen's Lakeside Cabin. All digging absolutely prohibited. Um. Oh. You're supposed to dig. Hmm. That means we get, like, shovels or something. I don't know. <gasps> Actually, I remember seeing a picture a while back. Uh, it was linked with some, like, mole claws or something. Oh, if those if that's this game, then yes. Just I'm pretty sure it is this game. Yes. Syrup the Witch's Hut. Ever heard of Granny's homemade blue potion? Once a your full of energy. Fill a bottle and carry it around. After all, it's only 60 rupees. No, I won't. And of course the the puppy's now barking. Ah yes, a fine choice, Mayor. That's a limited time article. One way for your wide awake. That is why it's called a wake up mushroom. Would you like to buy it for 60 rupees? Sure. Oh, that's why he was... Oh. That's why Ezra was like, maybe I need a wake-up mushroom. I'm just like, what? <laughs> I didn't get what he was talking about. I thought it was a hint to later. I, this is a hint to now. Oh, wait, that's where the heart piece was. Come on, I just gotta keep thinking in three dimensions. Time to get the Pegasus boots before we head back here and grab the heart piece I missed. Oh, I think I can actually get two heart pieces. That would be amazing. Like, I'm not joking when I say I just... I don't know, I love that feeling of getting an item like a heart piece. It's just so rewarding. Now she's in town. Oh, hello there. I'm selling creamy, nutritious long long milk for 100 rupees per bottle. Nah, no, I don't want any. But thank you. Use kinstones. Oh, that was the green one I got. I got this right outside your house, Malon. Isn't that in the castle? Hello, Castle Garden. Yeah. Okay, I'll head up there. By the way, I was looking at this, this is what they were talking about when they were talking about the land of the beasts or whatever, so I'm gonna go do that right now. Right. Now. I just wanna do this right now, now, now. Wait, no, I would need to... maybe? Just say. Let's head in here and go try this. I know I should probably be going to get the boots right now, but it's it's fine. Side tracking isn't the worst thing. Kinda is, but still. Alright. Um Oh yeah, you're the one who told me, right? Hey, do you know the clues that reveal the location of the treasure? Cross the bridge that spans the rapid flow. Through the land of the fearsome beasts until you reach the Misty Falls, the treasure sleeps on the other side of the secret entrance there. Say it's a magical tool that allows even little people to push big things. If I could get this guy to freaking open up his door, I could do this place easy. 
has to be someone to do this, right? Um, if I head up here, can't I can't just roll across or something? Um, I can head across here. Will this get me where I need to go? Ah, uh, the puppy needs to be quiet. See, that's the... that's the thing. Doesn't this hole go through... Get over to it, yeah, I know. Ah. Uh. I wonder, is what I need to do, do I need to head up here? So when I'm in like Minish form or whatever this is, I can talk to animals. So I should remember that. The puppy just keeps on barking and barking, doesn't she? She just never wants to be quiet. Fall down here. That doesn't help me at all. <sighs> Is she just gonna refuse to bark constantly? That wasn't a very good way to put that. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. Actually, no. Just a second. Ah, yes, welcome, welcome. I'm sorry, my good lad, but that is not for sale. That bottle contains food for my dear little dog, Fifi. What? You just want the bottle? That's highly unusual. Well, fine. If you feed Fifi, then I guess you can have the bottle. How does that sound? I'll do it. Excellent, excellent. He's at my home right now. Thank you so much. Sweet! I was just... Okay, um, that's something that I did off... Okay, I did in the failed... I caught the failed recording. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm just not going to mention it right now. So that's a good thing for me to find before I head back up there. I did not know that was there. I really need to figure out how to get across. Alright guys, I think that's enough for today. Um, so next time on Let's Play Minish Cat Blind, I'll be trying to figure out how to get to the Catland thing, Irma Bobber. I might do a little bit of searching off screen just so I don't have to put you through the entire thing. And we'll see how that works out. This cafe is so busy. Okay. Okay. That's not important. Alright, I see you guys then.